So in the previous part lecture, we learned uh, what the camera intrinsic and extrinsic parameters are. We'll just write here uh, for completeness. So we have PI um, that is a 2D point in the image plane. which is a transformation of a 3D point in the wall count system obtained by the following projection model. It is k times r t p w, where p w is a 3D point in the wall corner system Here R is a rotation matrix and T is a translation vector and the matrix K is a matrix of intrinsic parameters of the camera. where k is equal to fx fy one cx cy gamma zero 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 it's a three cross three matrix where fx and fy are the focal lengths of the camera along the x and y axis uh, and the cx and cy are the offsets along the x and y axis and gamma as we discussed in the previous lecture is close to zero uh, but for the sake of completeness we will assume a general k matrix uh, without any assumption on the gamma parameter and have the algorithmic process derive the gamma parameter automatically. So uh, the question is how to perform the calibration, how to perform camera calibration. So the process of calibration can be done using an external grid pattern. So often you, you will have noticed that uh, cameras are calibrated using an external checkerboard pattern. Uh, so the patterns can either be 2D uh, resulting in 2D calibration or the patterns can be 3D resulting in 3D camera calibration. Uh, the size and structure of the grid pattern is uh, that is used for calibration is known beforehand and thus the grid pattern is a ground to data point that we use in the calibration process. So to calibrate the camera we typically use a checkerboard pattern and uh, this pattern uh, can be uh, 2D. So these patterns can be two dimension uh, resulting in 2D calibration or these patterns can be 3D or resulting in the 3D camera calibration process. And, and the grid pattern, uh, uh, the size and structure of the, of, the, of, the, of the grid pattern on the checkerboard is known beforehand. So this grid pattern serves as a ground to data uh, that we use in the calibration process. So the grid pattern serve as a ground to data. Uh, that we use in the calibration process. So in this lecture we will focus on the 3D planar points which will result in a 2D calibration process. That is a Z coordinate of the 3D world points uh, is going to be uh, 0 uh, which will result in the points being on a 
plane. So typically uh, we use a checkerboard pattern where all the points are on a plane and the top corner is assumed uh, to be the origin and the board is assumed to be the xy plane of the 3D wall corner system resulting in z equal to 0 for all the points. So to provide an idea of what we're discussing about, uh, let's consider here uh, an example. So here is our autonomous trying vehicle at Swayat Robots. And here we can see there are cameras mounted on the vehicle. So assume that we'd like to calibrate uh, these cameras. So we typically use a checkerboard pattern like this over here. So this checkerboard pattern uh, has the following corners where the white and the black boxes made uh, there's a corner. So these corners define uh, the feature points that we'll use in the calibration process. And as we can see, all the points over here or the feature points lie on a single plane where the top left corner uh, is typically assumed to be the origin. So that makes the Z coordinate of all the feature points zero. So here is an example of the feature points uh, being detected on this checkerboard pattern. So we can see the corners are being detected over here and the top left corner is assumed to the origin. So we can also notice that the planar surface does not look planar in the captured image from the camera. And as we discussed in the previous part lecture, the camera calibration process also involves computing the lens distortion parameters which help us counter uh, this lens distortion, the aperture distortion uh, to, uh, to, uh, to obtain an image that is intrinsically calibrated. Uh, that is the straight lines in the image will appear to be straight lines and the planar surfaces will appear to be planar surfaces. So, here is an example of uh, the uh, feature points written on the checkerboard pattern. So we typically use a checkerboard pattern like this to calibrate uh, the uh, camera to find to compute the camera intrinsic parameters or the, or, or the, or the camera intrinsic matrix K. And uh, we use a checkerboard pattern where these corners are detected and the top left corner is assumed to be the origin. And since we know for a fact that these corners lie on a single plane, uh, we define this checkerboard as the xy plane in the 3D wall corner system. So all the feature points have z coordinate as 0 and we capture multiple images from different angles to calibrate the camera to compute the camera intrinsic uh, parameter matrix k uh, which we will learn in the later part of the lecture as well. So coming back to the calibration process as we discussed we will be focusing on 2D calibration that is, we'd be using a grid pattern uh, that will serve as a ground truth data for the calibration process and we'll assume uh, that all the feature points uh, lie on a plane so that the Z coordinates of all the feature points are going to be zero. So the next question is, what is this 2D calibration process and how do we compute the camera matrix K? So this would be studying in the next part of the lecture.